we have to talk a little bit about this series on BBC called The Jetty because it absolutely pissed me off and it shouldn't have pissed me off because I think the premise of the show is pretty decent. So spoiler alert ahead of you for anybody who's going to watch this. You probably won't. So I'm just going to talk about it in detail. But spoiler alert. The Jet is on the BBC. It also happens to be on Amazon Prime, as you see here via Google. The synopsis or the bio says here about the description of the show is as follows. Curse of Google. A year on from her husband's death, new detective Ember Manning is called to an answer the attack. The investigation follows, um, brings em Ember into contact with an underage pregnant girl who Ember suspects has been seeing an older man. When a true crime podcaster in town to investigate a cold case missing persons case tells Ember that the old man is actually a serial predator, Ember finds herself reflecting upon the age difference between her and her late husband. So for me... I feel like being a fan of thrillers, being a fan of dramas, being a fan of cop stuff and serial killer things or whatever, true crime shit. I thought this was actually a good premise for a show, right? What it sounds like, the overall synopsis, decent premise, but the execution was so shit and was so annoying. It legitimately made me question everything, everything. So essentially, when the show starts, you quickly realize that it's mostly on the progressive side, what people like to deem to be woke, because all the dudes in the shows are monsters or idiots, like they're all monsters and simmering evil people or bumbling idiots. All the women are like super strong, really quick witted and driven and sharp and all this malarkey, but all the guys are absolute buffoons. And I think all the prominent positions in the show too i feel about women so it's just a unnecessary detail but it's just there it exists cool but i thought the premise of the show being that there's a detective who's investigating an arson who then finds out that there's a young girl in the town who has got pregnant unfortunately by an older dude it makes her reflect on her own relationship with an older dude and then spoiler alert she finds out the older dude um that sh she got pregnant by unfortunately he passed away so he's not there in the show anymore he might have also been a serial PDF himself. He might have had a thing for young girls. Cool. So he, it's a woman trying to battle that in at the first, right? Trying to, you know, do the right thing by finding a killer or finding out what happened to that girl. But also if you find out what happened, especially since the girl went missing, it might uncover all the details about your husband or your late husband and what he was up to when you were, or, or before you guys got together. But they were pressing the ideological thing so hard and trying to make excuses and stuff to the point where it got to a point in this series where this lead detective finds out that her late husband who died of cancer also might have been a pdf so she kind of involves herself in the investigation to the point where she kind of you know withholds some bits of information that she finds out she eventually gets suspended obviously but then while she's suspended she still works she does start some finagly shit to, to impede the investigation and in the end, she doesn't serve any jail time. She doesn't lose her job, nothing. No consequences for legitimately fun, you know, fiddling around with an open investigation just so you can protect your daughter from knowing the fact that her dad might have been a PDF. And the daughter was incredibly annoying too in the show. Like, I think they have the kid, the dad's ashes in the box and they get some sort of argument and the kid decides to just like dash the ashes out of the window in a fit of rage and then comes back and says, mom, I'm sorry. I'm like, what? Is, this, is that like a cultural thing? I can't imagine ever doing that to my parents, bro. I I'd, I'd wouldn't have a house to come back to. She just throws out the window, her dad's ashes, who they both miss dearly, despite his you know background of maybe being a PDF. And she just come back and says, oh, I'm sorry, mom. Sorry I did that. Sorry I just dashed dad's ashes out of a window. What? <laughs> like, I was watching the show, like, hold on, like, she doesn't get like punished. She doesn't get like grounded. There's no like slap. And it's the first time the mum has ever hit the kid or something. Like something. But no, nah, the kid can't get slapped because the kid's a woman. It's a daughter. Cool. The woman can't be seen slapping the kid because that's child abuse and women don't abuse their kids, clearly. It was like so unnecessarily progressive. And the actual plot, the actual synopsis of the show was interesting. Even the main character, the main ish character, there's a girl in the show who goes missing, right? And there's loads of flashbacks that you're watching. And the flashbacks are basically that this detective lady, this Amber woman, her, her late husband was dating that missing girl. The girl that everybody thinks is missing, but actually passed away. Um, and in the flashbacks, 
this this young girl that went missing is like a really popular the hot girl in school and she befriends a very awkward and shy and introverted girl who then happens to be lesbian right and the mum of the you know soon to be lesbian girl basically gives the girl a really interesting like um advice in the car when she starts to see that her daughters maybe get influenced by this girl because she starts to like wear her clothes a certain way she's applying lipstick you know she's kind of you know doing all those type of things where you can see that there's another influence coming in and maybe disrupting and negatively affecting your kid and she gives this kid a really interesting bit of advice which i never understood which i never had heard because obviously i'm not a girl and shit but i imagine that something happens and she's like oh um be careful of this really popular hot girl because sometimes girls who are like sexually promiscuous at a young age or girls that are very in touch with their, with their femininity at that age can sometimes play with the attention they just want attention they like the attention and sometimes they can be quite mean in that they purposely play with girls who they know are gay when they're young but they have no intention of pursuing a relationship they just basically enjoy the fact that they get attention from older dudes and they get attention from girls that are young who are still maybe you know exploring their sexuality and i was thinking oh shit that's interesting and i think she made an example of that oh when she, the mum makes an example and says to the girl an anecdote when she was younger she was um one of her like friends who was a hot girl would always change with the door open and she knew the other girls would be watching you know that type of thing i was like oh shit that's very interesting cool let's explore this right this whole you know there's some ideas around like persuasion coercion um seduction maybe a little bit of a like this it, 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 it's very murky but it, it could be it could be a premise for an interesting show instead it just ends up being oh yeah the dad was the evil guy right the former the guy that passed away was a bad dude and then i think the twist at the end is that the girl that the, everyone the girl that went missing <laughs> the twist that the girl that went missing who this woman's late husband was dating she died she's actually not alive she's dead she didn't go missing she didn't go traveling to bali and backpacking in southeast asia she's actually dead and she died because this particular woman was driving in a car drunk or high off of some pills with the husband and her and a friend and she didn't know because she was so high off the ex or high off the percocet whatever that she crashed into the girl but she didn't remember because she's so high and then her husband helped to like help to dispose of the body that's a twist but she does but that's the thing so it gets uncovered that she's actually the murderer but nothing happens to her <laughs> i think the last show the last shot of the of the series is her standing on like the like <laughs> by the sea with her with her daughter and just watching and just like watching the you know as a camera pans out as they're just standing in front of the burned down club thing i'm like hold on this woman's husband was a supposed diddler right he had a, he had a thing for young girls when he was in his 20s he was dating 17 year olds he then ends up getting one impregnated they actually get married cool whatever but then he passes away from testicular cancer which is funny too in itself the wife then ends up becoming a detective she finds out that her late husband might have been a diddler she meddles with the investigation she gets suspended it seems with pay she then meddles again doesn't get arrested then it goes it gets revealed that she's the one that actually killed the girl and not the pdf husband and she still doesn't end up in prison <laughs> i was like how is she not in prison like i don't get this like and i think the whole premise is behind this because she's a woman she can't go to prison like <laughs> women can never be evil in this show it's always the dudes so i think there's like four dudes in this show who they never really say explicitly but they basically suggest that these dudes are like bad dudes like one older guy might have raped his daughter like the, it, like all the dudes in the show are the worst of the worst but the women seem to be like imper like just there's nothing bad that they can do it's <laughs> even when they <laughs> even when they deserve an open investigation and i honestly couldn't get my head wrapped around it because it was so unnecessary you don't need to do all this stuff you don't need to be this progressive because the subject matter already would allow you to talk about some very dicey topics some very touchy topics you know things that probably you only would hear about you know around certain people and whatever it may be 
like that's where it could come from like it, with some good writing you could probably tell the story even with all the main people being women i don't give a fuck minorities and blah 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 and also the funny tidbit as well at the end of it she then decides to go and um get some help right and speak to a psychologist and whatever and um <laughs> obviously the guy that she speaks to is some cute black guy and she kind of forced for him a little bit and it's like oh god almighty the ticking of the boxes right like all women leads the love interest is some black dude like okay cool man cool cool whatever you say and it's so unnecessary too because there's a there's a good there's there's a nucleus of a good show here but they just completely fucked it up um i'm just if you ever do watch it just keep in mind this woman somehow avoids prison i don't know how she does it but she ends up avoiding any consequences for her actions which i honestly do not understand but the jetty is available now on bbc on amazon prime if you like that type of stuff and you like the sound of what i said check it out um <laughs> but i don't recommend it like i wasted a couple of hours of my life speed ru speed running through some episodes and i would like that time back i would like that time back <laughs>